The 2002 World Series ended on Sunday, October 27th. Forty-four and a half thousand streamed into Edison Field to witness one of the teams win a long-awaited championship. For the Giants, the potential championship would be the first since 1954. For the Angels, it would be the first one ever. The Giants sent Levan Hernandez, a former series MVP, to the mound. The Angels sent John Lackey, a 23-year-old rookie, first rookie to start Game 7 since Jared Wright in 1997. The game began at 316. Jerry Crawford was the home plate umpire, Angel Hernandez at first, Tim Cheetah at second, Mike Winters at third, Mike Riley in left, and Tim McClelland in right. Levon Hernandez started off the game with the same problem that haunted him in Game 3, an elusive strike zone. Though he issued two walks in the first, one of them to David Eckstein, his defense helped him out by turning a double play on a Garrett Anderson line drive. John Lackey pitched a quick first inning, but got into trouble in the second, surrendering singles to beating to San Diego in J.T. Snow. With runners on the corners, Reggie Sanders hit a fly ball to left, enabling Santiago to tag up and score the first run. But the Angels quickly retaliated. Levan Hernandez retired two batters in the second before surrendering a walk to Scott Spezio. Benjamin Molina followed up with a double to deep left, allowing uh, Spezio to score from first. The game was not tied for very long. Hernandez surrendered singles to David Eckstein and Darren Erstad to start off the third. Tim Salmon was hit by a pitch to load the bases. The next batter, Garrett Anderson, hit a screaming line drive to right, clearing the bases. After intentionally walking Troy Gloss, Hernandez was pulled in favor of Chad Zerbe. Zerbe quickly retired the side. John Lackey, meanwhile, pitched well. He allowed singles to Barry Bonds and Benito Santiago in the fourth, but kept the Giants from scoring. Overall, he pitched five scoreless innings. Both teams implemented pinching changes in the sixth. Giants put in Kurt Reeder. Angels put in Brendan Donnelly. Giants had an opportunity to score in the sixth. Donnelly walked Benito Santiago with two outs, and J.T. Snow doubled to right, putting Santiago 90 feet away from home plate. In an odd move, Dusty Baker brought in Tom Goodwin to pinch hit for Reggie Sanders. Sanders had been struggling in the series, batting a measly 186. Goodwin struck out for the seventh time in the series, ending the Giants' rally. Donnelly pitched a scoreless seventh inning. In the eighth, Francisco Rodriguez faced four batters, striking out three and walking Barry Bonds. Tim Morrell came in in the eighth for the Giants and pitched a 1-2-3 inning. At this point, it was all up to the Giants' offense, and the offense did not go down without a fight. With Troy Percival on the mound, J.T. Snow singled to right. One out later, David Bell drew a walk. Pinch hitting for Pedro Feliz to Yoshi Shinjo struck out. Kenny Lofton stepped up next. hitting the first pitch he saw and lifting a fly to center field. The ball settled in the glove of Darren Erstad. The Angels have won their first World Series. To the Angels' delight, John Lackey came through, becoming the first rookie to win Game 7 of the World Series since Babe Adams accomplished the feat in 1909. Thanks to the Angels' outstanding bullpen and defense, his five-inning effort had paid off. Troy Gloss, thanks to his outstanding offensive performance, won the series MVP award. Levan Hernandez, despite his experience, could not hold off the Angels' offense. His struggles to throw strikes would uh, do him in once again. To their credit, the Giants' bullpen and current reader pitched uh, much better, even if to no avail. The series would be a turning point for both teams. The 2003 would be a rebuilding year for the Giants. Half of their starting lineup and rotation would be gone. Dusty Baker was gone also. The Giants 
would come back to the playoffs in 2003, but it would not be until 2010 that they would end their World Series drought. The Angels, on the other hand, kept mostly the same staff for several more years, making it to the playoffs five times, though never winning another series. This would be their finest hour.